Hello everybody, I'm going to be showing you how you can use different types of material with our fabulous new decorative panel dies. I'm going to be using our fabulous linen look material, our faux leather, our fox in the wood cotton range and our felt. I'm going to be using a variety of different stabilizers. For example, I'm going to be using our absolutely wonderful fabric stabilizer. This gives a firm effect to your fabric and is wonderful for your structured designs. I'm going to be using our felt with our threaders adhesive sheets. Again, a wonderful product to die cut and will give you those crisp edges. Next, I'm going to be using our fusible webbing. This is, a, again, a fantastic product that you're going to peel the backing away and place your design straight onto your project using your heat to set it and it's going to give a wonderful end result. And finally, I'm going to be using interfacing, which will give your project that little bit of structure. Here I've begun to tessellate my design and this is on the felt with our threaders adhesive sheets on the back. So I'm just going to take my die and line this up and send it through the Gemini. these pieces. Now don't forget these are all backed so you could use these on your project perhaps to build up a lovely flower. So popping these out I'll then choose a section of this that I'm going to use for my project. Now I have my design, I'm going to choose a section here. I think this top section looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to trim this down and I'm going to adhere it onto another piece of felt. My next colour, I'm going to peel off the backing of this design. It's as simple as that. Peel off the back and then place it wherever I want on my project. So for this I'm going to pop it on the bottom section, make sure it's lined up and just press that down. And what a beautiful effect. Next we're going to use our interfacing. Now this is going to give a lovely bit of structure to our cotton. Of course you can tessellate this design but for the sake of this example I'm just going to pop it in the top corner. Again securing with my masking tape. peel off the die and look at that, a stunning, stunning result. Beautiful. If I bring in that faux leather you can see just how precisely the die is cut. Next up I'm going to use our linen look fabric. This has got no interfacing, no backing at all. I want to show you how precisely it will cut with absolutely nothing on the back. So place our die, masking tape and pop it through the Gemini. Perfect results each and every time. Now we're going to use our faux leather. Of course this comes in an absolutely wonderful array of shades. This would be brilliant on your bags, maybe perhaps using your bag making dies. So again, just taking that die, using my masking tape and sending it through the Gemini. Look at that. 
Imagine this on your bags, your craft projects, stunning. Next up we have our fusible webbing. So we're going to be cutting through this and then we're going to be peeling off the backing using heat and setting it onto our projects. So again, as before, a bit of masking tape to, to secure. Now don't forget, of course, you can tessellate all of these. So you're going to be creating larger projects. So don't be thinking just because I'm doing a little bit, that's all you have to do. And now this is ready just to heat set onto my bags, my aprons, my dresses, whatever I'd like. Last but not least, I'm going to be talking to you about our fabric stabiliser. Now this is what you saturate your fabric with. You're going to leave it to dry and you're going to end up with a very, very rigid piece of fabric, almost like cotton. We're going to die cut this as we've done before and this is going to be used for your structured projects. I'm then going to take my jar and just measure this around. I want a bit at the back to overlap, so that's worked out nicely. Trim it down. And cut along the top of the hexagons. All I'm going to do then is get a little bit of masking tape. You could, of course, use your uh, glue gun for this. I'm going to line this up at the back and I'm going to place that down. Just trim this to get it exactly right both sides and you put pop your tea light inside. <laughs> 